On Christmas Eve, several busloads of asylum seekers arrived at the home of Vice President Kamala Harris. They were bussed there by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Many of them only had the clothes on their backs and then were left in the dangerous freezing cold. It is just the latest in political stunts and the ongoing debate over immigration. Here's ABC's Elizabeth Schulze. In frigid temperatures on Christmas Eve, three buses of migrant families dropped outside the residence of Vice President Kamala Harris. Aid workers say more than 100 people, including children, were left outside, many unprepared, wearing t-shirts in the record-breaking cold. It's been so cold that people, uh, I step outside and they say, please, uh, let me in, even if they're standing room only. I don't even have to find a place on the floor to sleep as long as you just allow me to come in. The White House immediately blaming Texas Governor Greg Abbott, saying in a statement he abandoned children on the side of the road in below freezing temperatures on Christmas Eve. This was a cruel, dangerous, and shameful stunt. Abbott's office did not respond to a request for comment, but previously said Texas had bussed more than 15,000 migrants since April to Washington, D.C., New York, Philadelphia, and Chicago. It's part of a growing political battle as Republican-led states protest the Biden administration's attempt to end a Trump-era policy known as Title 42, which allows migrants to be expelled without being able to claim asylum. We're waiting for Title 42 to be nullified says this man from Honduras. The fate of that policy is now in the hands of the Supreme Court. As the court weighs a decision, the Department of Homeland Security is out with a statement saying migrants should not attempt to cross the border in the cold, warning of the risk of deportation. Now, it's not clear when the Supreme Court might issue its decision on Title 42. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington. Well, still